Okay, one of the great advantages of the Raspberry Pi 4 is that we now have a USB-C connection here and that provides the power for the device. Uh, with this we've got two HDMI connections, audio and all the normal things that we've had before. But the great thing with this is that this not only provides the power, but it also can provide the network connection. So what we have here is the connection to the USB-C uh, slot. I've just got an, an adapter here from a normal USB into USB-C uh, in, into, the, into the laptop. And this powers up the Raspberry Pi and it's on, but it also creates a network, an Ethernet equivalent network connection between the laptop and the Raspberry Pi. So let's just give that a little try. And the address that I've set up for the iPad is this, and we can see that works perfectly. Okay, so that's us pinging the, the Raspberry Pi. So now what we'll do is we'll run SSH. And we'll get connected to the Raspberry Pi from our laptop. Okay, we'll just go ahead with that. That's just the first time you connect, you'll, you'll get this. And Let's try that again, and this time we'll put the username first. Okay, and we'll just put in the password in there. And that says in now. Okay, so this is the Raspberry Pi. So just to show you, uh, we'll have a look in this folder here and see what's in there and we'll have a look in here see what we've got okay and just to show we can run a python program we'll run one of these programs Okay, it doesn't do very much because we need to have some things connected to it. But uh, we'll just have a look. Okay, so this is us connecting to the Raspberry Pi from our laptop. So now what we'll do is we'll try on a VNC. So I have a VNC viewer uh, here and I've enabled the VNC as a service on the Raspberry Pi. So we'll just enter 10 dot fifty five dot zero dot one and we'll see if we can get connected okay so first time we'll get this and that okay so we'll just see if we can get connected And there we are. So we can see here, we now have our Raspberry Pi connection. Uh, we still should have our connection here to the Raspberry Pi. But uh, we'll be able to pull up a little uh, terminal here to be able to get our, our, uh, our terminal window to run. Okay, there we go. So we'll just see what we get. And we'll just do what we did before. And we'll just have a look to see if we can find our little Python program again. There it is there. Just try and run it. And it runs there. Okay, so 
we can see that we have both a, a terminal window uh, with SSH here. We can open up another one if we want. And then over here we have our VNC. And all we have is a connection from our Raspberry Pi 4 all the way into our laptop here. And this is an easy way for us to run our Raspberry Pi. Great little computer.